What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where you see behind me, I'm at Maserati Central Florida with a 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo in matte gray. Yes, this is a Gran Turismo motor, the starting point for the Maserati GT in 2024, but this has a paint we have not seen on the channel and this whole spec is probably cheaper than you think it is. It's under $200,000. And we know that we start off at $174,000 for the Modena GT. So with that said, I want to take a quick, quick look at this GT because we've gone over the GTs before, but I want to show you this paint, this spec, the price and everything as far as the sticker goes. So let's take a quick look at this matte gray Maserati. We're looking at the GT and Grigio Maritia matte. This looks so good in the Florida sun. This is a stealth bomber. This is a under the radar, but stealthy ninja kind of spec. I love it. It looks so good. I mean, wow. With the black accents, you get this thing tinted out, it's just gonna look even crazier. Now, again, I wanted to do a quick spin around this spec because we don't normally see GTs like this. Um, we haven't seen one, you know, that's just this kind of flat matte color. So I kind of wanted to get something that's a little bit, I wanna say more, Kind of just chill more just subtle when it comes to the spec it's just the paint hides everything and it just makes it a smooth operator so with that said this is a matte paint it looks great but we do have some things like black accents like the front fascia here done in gloss black the side blades also in gloss black the vertical slats and the grill here in gloss black as well with the driver assistance big trident there for all of your technology and you have the led headlamps as well, I have illuminated for you guys so you can see how it looks. You can see the nostrils and the hood for airflow. Then it has that curvature all the way up. And then you can see the Maserati logo right there to top it off to let you know who you're messing with. Now, coming along to the side, 20 inches up front, 21s in the rear for the Astero glossy wheels. All right, so that is what the look like is for the styling and for the brakes. Brembo's as always, drilled rotors calipers in red and the white script for me i think i would have gone on this spec a black caliper just to kind of just again keep with that stealthy spec but i get it they wanted that pop of color and they got it and it looks good still all right then we have the modena badge on the front fender with the portholes done with gloss black and silver up top looks really good against this finish and then we have the half and half for the mirror caps there all right so you got black on the bottom and the grigio matte up top you have the gloss window moldings as well part of the package will go over in the sticker you have the aluminum door handles right there and then on the c pillar the maserati trident in black looking spectacular now coming along to the rear you see the beautiful red tails Looking really good with the Gran Turismo badging, Maserati script there as well. And we have quad exhaust, two on each side, very subtle diffuser done in gloss black with the rear bumper having plastic going through the center and around the exhaust tips. Again, pretty chill spec when it comes to this. And the Modena really is a sexy, curvy spec. It's something that is not too aggressive, you know, just the lines are just very seamless, very flawless, and I love the look of this thing. Opening up the Cofango hood, we're looking at 483 horsepower and 361 pound-feet of torque out of this twin turbo Natuno V6 engine. Now, this is all-wheel drive with a rear-wheel drive bias, and you're looking at a top speed of 188 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. Now, remember, the Natuno engine is derived, or derived from the Maserati MC20, so, you know, of course, it's gonna have some performance behind it. And, you know, this is obviously a big elephant in the room because we're in V6s now, not V8s, but it's still a great and practical engine when it comes to an everyday supercar, all right? That's what we're looking at here. Or you could call it an everyday sports car. Either way, I think for what this platform entails, I think the Natuno engine makes sense. And for the Modena trim, it's a good place to start. Fuel economy is 21, 18, 27. 21 combined city and highway, 18 city, 27 highway. Not bad for a performance sports car, right? And then premium fuel only, obviously, for this because, you know, 
you got to feed it the good nutrients in order to get that sound clip out of it. Speaking of sound clips. Tons of trunk space here, guys. It's pretty deep, but you do have a feed through as well. And you cannot fold down the seats because of how the seats are fixed in the rear. But look at how deep this truck is. You can kind of see perspective and scale. You got plenty of space back here for anything you would need. And then if you lift this up, you will see the tow hook, screwdriver, tire inflate kit, all that great stuff here in the rear of the GT. Like again, it's, it's a great daily driver. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. When you give the video a like, it helps grow the channel and get more opportunities to get more beautiful cars like this 2024 Gran Turismo behind me here today. Inside of this thing, it's again, pretty simple. Let's hop inside and it's great for the materials. Everything looks phenomenal, but it's just a, a chill spec. It's black on black on black. I mean, everywhere you see is black. I mean, it's again, luxurious because that's what the Modena trim gives you. It gives you a more luxurious flavor to it, like the seats and the stitching and the patterning. You get ventilated seats, cool seats, you know, heated seats, heated steering wheel. You get all that good stuff in this. Solon's paper sound system, leather, gloss black materials. I mean, it's a great place to be with the new digital gauges, the Speedo, the Uconnect 5 infotainment, the eight inch comfort screen with all of your controls. This is a great place, guys. But again, it's very under the radar, very chill. All right, so I don't want you to think that like, it's a boring spec, it just goes with the outside. You know, we've gone over the GTs before and we've seen some bright colors and stuff like that, but I think this matches up very well for what it's supposed to be. So yeah, we've seen inside of this, we know the flat bottom steering wheel, start button, drive mode selector, all of our controls. We can change our layouts to three different layouts on a Speedo, driver assistance, everything over here, the paddles and the windshield wiper controls, lane keep assist, driver assistance. We have our new digital clock here that can turn into a compass, the pedals. Um, you can also do the G meter, all that good stuff. You have your suspension controls here, your seating controls, your ambient lighting, all that good stuff out of this comfort screen. You guys know you connect five infotainment, Mia, Maserati Intelligent Assistant. This does everything. We've had this since 2021, I believe, in Maseratis. Um, again, the new digital speedo that will give you a bunch of different kind of layouts and uh, different information fed to you. I mean, again, they did it right. Wood trim, our wireless charging pad, our cup holders that we can extend by taking out the partition, armrest, we got USB 2.0, USB-C, key fob, Alcantara on the pillars and the headrest. It's a great place to be, even in the back. It's just as lavish. Same materials, everything carries over. If you guys wanna look into my fuller details, and reviews on a GT, make sure you do that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's inside of here, this spec and the exterior of the matte paint. It's just really cool to see. As promised, I want to show you the illumination against the matte paint so you guys can see what the headlights look like, the switchback LEDs, and also the amber turn signal and the tails which look the best to me. Look at those. Those look so cool. I guess it's matte paint. What do you guys think though? So let's break down the price of this 2024 Gran Turismo Modena. Now Grigio Maritia Matte with Nero Nero Nero. That's looking at 174,000 even to start. But after options, well, we're talking about 199,665. I told you under $200,000. And that's with the 1695 destination and preparation delivery at $300. So what options give us this price? Well, we're looking at the ADA S package one. Our driver assistance package one is $4,500. And that's what you get. If you were to go to level two, that's $8,300. So it's a big jump between the two. Now the comfort package for the Modena is 1470, like the ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, and a kick sensor for the uh, for the trunk. You also have the sport design Modena pack, 1800, with the gloss black window surround, aluminum sport pedals, aluminum door sills with the Maserati logo, and then the high premium Sonos favorite sound system, 
four thousand dollars the 20 to 21 inch or sorry 20 and 21 inch extra dc glossy dark well that's forty five hundred dollars for those wheels matte paint forty five hundred dollars i thought it would be more expensive but for this matte grigio it's forty five hundred and red brake calipers a thousand with the alcantara headliner and pillars nineteen hundred those are your options that's what makes this maserati this maserati but standard this is everything you get for the Modena flavor for the GT to start at $174,000. So make sure you guys zoom in on that, pause, see what you need to do to see everything that the GT comes with to see if, hey, maybe I just need a couple of options or maybe I can take it straight up like this, standard, and still be happy with my 2024 GT. I know I could. So at just under $200,000, what do you guys think? I mean, this is such a beautiful, classic, stealthy spec. It's like a stealth bomber. I love it. And at just under two hundred dollars for the Modena, is it priced just right for you guys? Do you love the way that this looks? Everything it comes with for the pricing. That's the big thing right there. Let me see what you guys have to say down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that love as always, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Rise Rise merch and social media links. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we're going to talk to you guys in the next Rise Rise video. Peace.